Hi, I'm Dr. Michelle Fiala of Ohio University in Athens. Thank you for joining me for these videos on the 2022 to 2023 OMEA Allstate Oboe Etudes. The first etude is in D minor by Heinze. I'll play it for you and then discuss it. Before I practice this etude each day, I warm up with some slow D minor scales over a D drone. Let's try a D harmonic minor, which has one flat, D flat, and contains C sharp, the leading tone. There's a D drone, and I'm going to play this slowly, one octave at a time. I take a breath there and listen for intonation and then continue. And you can come back down in the same way. There are a lot of different dynamic contrasts in this, so you could add the challenge of starting uh, so very softly at the low D and through those two octaves crescendoing to fortissimo at the top and then back down on the way down once you're good at this slow scale. I like the tempo of 36 to the dotted quarter for this etude and if you wanted to subdivide that is 108 for the eighth note. If you start out with the subdivision of the eighth note though make sure that the metronome also emphasizes the dotted quarter note beat and move pretty quickly to feeling the whole dotted quarter note beat because it will help you rhythmically and musically. One trill fingering that I would like to mention is the fourth system F to G. Uh, the fourth, beginning of the fourth system of the music, the first measure uh, at the top of the staff. Simply lift the first finger of your right hand while using the normal F fingering, the one, two, and the F key. In the 32nd note passages, you may want to start out with the eighth note subdivision to help you feel the divisions, but you definitely want to do different rhythms practice four different ways. I worked this passage out in the following ways. First, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, and I'm going to play you the sixth system second measure in that way. You can keep going through the entire thing that way. And then short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. And then one short, three long. And 
and last, three short, one long. Next, you'll need to come up with a good breathing plan for this piece. There are pretty regular four bar phrases, and there are sometimes places even to breathe within those. If you listen to where I took breaths, it could give you some good starting places for musical places to put breath marks. You may need exhalations as well as inhalations in this. Toward the end, you have some large registral leaps from low D to A above the staff. Keep your focus on producing the low D. The A and the other notes will come out with your octave key if you just keep your air fast and your embouchure round for the low Ds. I often focus on pretending I'm playing low D for the last three measures of this piece and then let the octave key do the work for the upper notes. Good luck on your audition and please join me for the second video on the other etude in G sharp minor.